Welcome back to March to Orbit. Last time we, we basically took our, our lunar attempt craft and, and took it to bits and made it different. And now it's bigger and it takes up the whole pad, which I should have done to start with, if I'm entirely honest. Um, today, we're... Um, what are we, have we got any tech done? We haven't done any tech. Oh, you know what? I could... Hmm. You know what? I'm going to move these up. Don't ask me why. I'm just moving them up. Nothing to, nothing to worry about. Um, just to get that done. We're going to walk forward for this and we're going to we're going to pull this out. We're going to launch it. We are on a schedule, which is I need to have basically hit the moon soon. I need to I need to be. Why, why are we slowing down? Um, is it because oh we finished that as well? Um, we need to roll that out. I need to hit the moon before this year is out. I think let's just check. Um, we have the 57, yeah, the th so basically we're looking at January, the start of January. So at the end of this year, we are out of time. We have six months to do this. Okay, which basically I think means we have one shot, maybe two, if I rush one of those, um, which I can't. So I would have to put some upgrade points in. So after this, we will have to figure it out um, if it doesn't work. All right, so let's... Let's hope it works. Otherwise, this could be the end of the series. We, we may not make it to the end of the month. We are in our final week. We've got only a couple of days to go. Um, I think we're on, what, six days to go, something like that. Um, right, I am ready. Let's, uh, let's go and do this thing. Right, so because of my talking around at the start there and generally just the time that scene transitions take, we have about 17 minutes left. Um, so I need to get on with this. Um, and what we need to do is actually get this craft... Uh, to the point we've we've got that under there we're gonna have to speedy speedy timey wimey a bit um get up to there and then when we get down to i don't know 15 we'll just uh, tap this there we go do that and then we'll just go into that speed and then yeah a bit of that so yeah so um this is an interesting one because um you know we don't have to go to the moon it's not actually a part of the mission that we we set out at the start to say we have to go to the moon and go to orbit god i almost started this the speech there didn't i we know we don't have to go to the moon in this decade. Anyway, obviously in the real decade, they've already been to the moon at this point. We're just we're currently years behind. Um, yeah, we don't have to go to the moon, but it didn't. I didn't say which thing orbital I was going for. We we got into orbit quite nicely, um, quicker than I probably thought, but a lot less than I could have. Um, but we'll see. Now the big problem here is, will my engine start? Because I have just thought about the fact that we have. Um, yeah, we've got two untested engines on this thing. So I just need an engine failure and we're pretty much goosed. We, I might even cut the engines and roll it back if that happened. Um, so let's see, we've got everything good. I'm gonna pull this back up to here and I think we're ready to light. We have an engine failure. Right, we're gonna, we're gonna stop that. We're gonna cut it. Can I recover the vessel to the VAB? I can, right. We're going to recover the vessel to the VAB. And we're going to try that again. Right, we have recovered it. We've done all this stuff. Where's the vessel? It's being rolled back. So let's do that. The good thing is we're building the second one while this is going on. So we're actually starting on the second one. Now we're going to roll that back out again. Uh, did not. Oh, let's do the edit thing. Um, so we probably have to edit it, I'm guessing. Yeah, that would explain the, uh, the slight editing problem. What I might actually do is we're just going to open up Luna 2 and just load it we just load Luna 2 we know everything on Luna 2 is then ready to go so we just load it um, and it should be zero changes yeah there we go one thing I would say is um, I should really put some sort of launch clamps on these side boosters because that's just not healthy at all but hey you know we'll, we'll live with that um, how is that taking more time that should not be taking more time Right, okay, that's interesting. Um, yeah, I would love to know why that is taking 19 days. That could kill us. That could kill us. Um, cancel edit. Let's start again. Right, let's try editing that again. Right, so now we want to try and move this up a bit so it's not in the floor. Is it going to do anything? It's not doing anything, so let's see. Have we actually used fuel? Ah, the fuel's out. That's interesting. Um, does it tell me the number of munitions? No. Now that should get fueled up. 
when we go back to the pad, I'm hoping. So let's save the edits and we are back on this screen again. And now we've got to bring the craft out and we're going to, we're going to have to, I'm going to pop it to the top there. It should be basically an instant complete. There we go. 18 walk to complete. It's completed. We can roll it out. We can continue on building Luna two again, which is technically Luna three, I suppose. Um, let's get this done. Uh, we finished solid rockets, which might be useful if we're going to go for orbit around the moon. We're going to, right, we're ready. It's a nighttime launch, is it? Well, we don't know. We don't actually know. Now this is going to be interesting. Are we actually going to fuel up on this one? It should get fueled up. We are eating away our time right now. So we're going to choose to uh, jump out here. Right, set as target. We've got 54. Right, okay, let's have a look what's going on. Uh, hmm. You know what? Let's pull this up because I, it should be... Teat B. Why is the Teat B empty? Why is that empty? I wonder, do we need that to light it? I mean, seriously. You need Teat B to light the engine. It would be quite nice if we actually had it. Um, right, we're going we're gonna to warp forward a bit until we get to a sensible time to launch. I'm a little concerned. We're down to like nine minutes now. We've wasted so much time with just uh, messing around. So what have we got gone up? So our liquid oxygen is filling up, but the others are not. So these side tanks are not. We're, so we're actually down on Delta V, but I can't, I can't, I can't actually put this thing in for, for 16 days because then we definitely won't get the next one out. So if this craft fails, I uh, basically, I'm, I would be putting everything on this craft and I can't do that because these engines are probably going to fail. I'm expecting them to fail. I don't expect them to all work. So that's going to be the problem, I think. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm a little bit on edge about this, actually. I, this, this, this is... You know, this could be the end of it. So we're not fueling the, we're only fueling liquid oxygen up. That I suppose that's maybe to do with the clamp. Maybe the, maybe the clamp can only do certain substances. Maybe I should have put extra clamps on the side to allow us to do that. But then I did not plan on this thing having to go back after firing its engines. And we don't even know if that middle engine will light now. It's got TB, but it is, I suppose it's attached to a clamp. I don't know. Don't know. It's a bit weird, actually. Um. So, yeah, that's going to be interesting. Right, we're going to get down to, you know, the usual two, then we'll drop it down into uh, slow mode and we'll get ready for the launch. There we go. Right, let's drop it to slow mode. Right, so we've got engines in. Hello. Engines on, thank you. Right, I'm going to go early. Yeah, I'm going to go early, I think. Everything is ready. Got three engines lit. Three engines light, and we we'll go. Whoa, that was, that is special. We're gonna have to use a bit of roll on this. Okay, All right, and uh, yeah, that is, that is definitely taking off like a Russian rocket, isn't it? That's, uh, if you don't know, the Russians, the Russians had a habit, <laughs> a a big habit, in fact, of launching their rockets with quite a high thrust, and I, I believe. I believe, and I may be wrong, I believe that was in part due to uh, high winds and they wanted to actually get out of the, the high winds as quickly as possible. I'm not entirely sure. I, I, I was always told that. I'm not entirely sure how accurate that is. Um, we are going to have a lot of um, problems, I think, on transition, stage transition here. Um, that's what my concern is. The aerodynamics on this is not beautiful, shall we say. Um, and I really would like to turn it over a little bit now, but I don't know if that's going to be possible. Um, they are gone. Are those engines gone? They are gone. So let's get rid of them. Right. Uh, we are up at pretty much 90, but we're, we're, we're a sensible altitude now. We can start to roll over. We've got a sensible speed. Um, 100. We could probably put this on horizontal now. Yeah, let's go. Let's go horizontal. There we go. Right. Okay. We're doing okay. I feel better about this. This this should be okay. We're gonna we're going horizontal. We're actually gonna pop it to the to the ten to the ten. I just want to keep that that altitude going. Um, I don't want to lose that two minute barrier that we've now built up. I'd like to keep it. So we're gonna just uh, pop it a little bit more. We've got quite a burn left on this. I thought this was a shorter burn on this because we had the first stage. Hmm, interesting. Um, back to two minutes. That's good. We're now going to be over the 140. Oh, yeah, we're, we're now we're now looking at orbit. So there we go. We can just put us on sideways and go for it. Um, and I think yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be on this stage before we decouple the fairings. I think. 
Um, are we? No, we're not. We're going to do a couple fairings first. That's okay. In fact, I'm tempted to do it now. Um, it's going to be close, isn't it? Um, ooh, we have five minutes left of the recording. How exciting. Uh, let's see. I'm going to, yeah, fairings away. Okay. We're now, we're now bearing our fruit, as it were. So, next step is going to be second stage ignition. I think everything is good. We are ahead of the curve quite considerably on relative inclination, which is a little concerning, actually. It's it's not where I'd want to be. Um, and then we're going to fire that. There we go. We have a good, clean ignition. Good. So as long as this goes well, we should be looking at orbit. Now, the concern I have is our relative inclination is not going down as quickly as I would have expected. Uh, we have seven... How is there seven minutes on this? I didn't put seven minutes of fuel in this. It was like six. What on earth? Oh, was this engine somewhere else in the stack? I bet it was. I bet that was somewhere else in the stack when I was looking at the numbers. I bet you've all been screaming at the screen, haven't you? You've all been pointing out to me that actually it's not a five minute burn. It's a seven minute burn. And that's why I was wondering why it was an odd time that it was going to be. Oh, right. Now I'm doing the maths in my head. I'm going 440. Uh, 440 is, well, first of all, is get some get some inclination, get some some burn time on this because this thing is going to have to spend a bit of time burning. We are nowhere near even. Uh, yeah, we're we're not we're not near anywhere near one thrust to weight ratio of one. Um, so let's think about this. So 440. This was about 720. 440 is, is it? five it's six it's almost seven so we should get more if we have a good burn we should get most of this fuel the problem is all the delta v's at the end that's the big problem um we can actually speed this up now because it is such a long burn um we've got three minutes on our clock and we've got actually it's so long on this burn it's actually unbelievable um so I think we made a boo-boo there. No wonder the Delta V looked a bit weird when we'd finished with it. Um, yeah, I think so. We've still got five minutes left to burn on this. That's that's crazy. Um, right, uh, what are we doing? We're still not even a, a thrust to weight of one. So this thing is potentially going to come back down in the atmosphere. So I'm not I'm not worried now about it gaining too much altitude. We've actually I would have actually lofted it. I'd have lofted it higher if I'd have known that was that was such a high burn time. So we've got four, four minutes left. On there, we've got two minutes and 40 seconds on the recording. Right, and we're starting to gain something. Oh, how are we gaining? Wow, we're gaining time to apoapsis, even though our thrust to weight is less than one. That's interesting. I didn't know that it was possible. Okay. Um, I suppose it's to do with the fact that we've really got this, this periaps uh, height is coming up quite nicely now. Um, I'm going to put this down to zero. Um, it's going to be interesting how long this engine goes before it cuts out. We might actually fail because this engine might cut out. Um, yeah, I think we're probably going to fail because this engine cuts out because I don't I don't see it burning that end long enough to get us up there. It's going to be close potentially, but I don't th I don't see it happening. I just don't see. It. I'm going to put the nose down a bit because I don't want to go too high. Yeah, there we go. Engine failure. Damn it. Oh. Well, I suppose we can test our our probe out anyway in the last minute that's left. So get the RCS on, arm um, that, get me in forward motion. Um, let's get a spin going. And fire that. There we go. Okay, right. Ah, that is that is annoying. That is very annoying. Um, hmm, actually. I mean, we're not going to, but it could be close. <laughs> it could have been very close. Um, right, now to, to try the old next step. So this is, we can actually test this. So uh, we turn off our thrust. We stage, then we turn on our thrust. There we go, aha ha ha. So let's have a look. What are we doing? Oh, how is that doing for us? What's our burning light? What's our thrusting light? We've got lots there actually, haven't we? Oh, the helium's like pretty empty. How is the helium so low? Now that's interesting. Is the helium going down? The helium is going down, but why was there so much capacity for helium? Did we need that much helium? 
That's almost as though we, we actually had it measured. Ah, because we have helium there. That's why. There's helium in there as well. Okay, right, okay, that, that makes sense. So that's that's where the pressure is coming from. We're actually using it from both sets of tanks. Okay, so we know that this this little thrust system we've got here might actually work. This is this is possible. This is this is capable of doing it. So all we've got to do is uh, fix the craft now. Okay, so with that and that failure, that's it. I'll see you back at base for the next episode. Have a great one.